I'm so sick of these damn politicians giving billions of dollars to Ukraine <laughs> while people here in America and Asheville and all over the Carolinas yep. are suffering. What the hell's going on with this hurricane and the hurricane disaster relief that they're trying to, I don't know if it's a conspiracy theory, but stop people from helping? Uh, it appears that this is going on. Now, I, I am like fully focused on this. This has messed up all the other projects that I'm working on. I'll just tell you. So I, I went in Monday morning when Matt uh, Peterson, our, our yeah. editor-in-chief for the, the Blaze, got here. I was here early. He came in. I walked in, knocked on his door, and I said, Matt, I got to talk to you just about something. And I'm asking you to talk me out of what I'm about to do this. So what I'm about to say to you is not a sales pitch. I do this all the time. I want somebody to tell me not to do something because it might be too crazy. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. And I, I, and I said, time. I said, my stack of stuff and the number of stories that we're working on right now. I like this, I mentioned Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've got I've got stories about uh, being at the DNC in Chicago that we yeah. still have yet to tell. I've got stories uh, in our investigative process in D.C. and uh, all, January six. January you got, six stuff. You, you got a bunch of junk you got to talk about. I got, I, got a, a I got a stack of stuff going, and I said, "But Matt, something's wrong in North Carolina, and I think I need to be there." Mm -hmm. And you know what he did? He went, "Yeah, you need to be there." I agree. I'm like crap, man. Well, <laughs> he didn't even try to talk me out of it. And so what did you do? So tell us what happened. Well, so I'm, uh, I've started the process of rearranging my schedule. Uh, if I didn't have to, if actually, if I didn't have to be, or wasn't already booked uh, with Tim uh, on Friday, I You'd would be, be I'd already be in North Carolina. So I'm going to fly up tomorrow, uh, do the Tim thing. I've got to meet with a couple other people on one of these other stories. And then I'll be back here Monday. And then I'm headed to North Carolina. And... Um, and I think um, I think there's something there's something weird going on. How big of a conspiracy theorist are you? Because I believe that they I'm can. Not. Well, okay, I am. I believe they can manipulate the weather. They have a thing called cloud seeding, and that I mean, maybe was this a weather manipulation thing? Did they want this hurricane to happen to distract us, or these are crucial states? For Alex, Donald did Trump? you see the lithium? What about the lithium? There's the a lithium area where they're doing lithium mining, and there's also some chip production over there, from what I read, that was right in the path of the uh, hurricane. Or what? Why would they want to shut down? The, what's the conspiracy behind that? I think they want to get rid of the housing so they can mine more of the lithium. Oh, My well, what thing. do you think happened in Maui, Steve? Oh, I, I, I totally think that was an alien attack. No, seriously, alien. but something weird happened. Yeah, I mean, I don't No, I don't see. Here's what here's what I don't have any conspiratorial ideas about what happened. Mm -hmm. I think that was all naturally occurring. What yeah. took place? I have a problem with the government's response and reaction. That's what there's a conspiracy me. there because you there give, is a conspiracy. You give them only seven hundred and fifty bucks right, or right, whatever no, it was. Is, this is, and this is the same thing that's given me the willies and my you know my radar is pinging and I and I trust that. That's why I do what I do. Is I have a very I, I trust these feelings and these these, these intuitions. You're, I get. that's your second brain is your yeah, gut. I feel yeah, like that yeah. is almost a smarter brain. And something something is not right in North Carolina, and I've got to get there and find out. Well, uh, we really appreciate you risking your life going there. I mean, I know now the storm's not going on, but just being there right now, it's probably disaster zone. Uh, you know, they don't have internet. There's a lot of, I mean, just, the, I don't understand how we can't get this stuff back up and running, though, how we can't get the military in there and get their power up. We have Starlink. Like, you would think that this would be our focus instead of giving all this money to Ukraine or even, you know, we support Israel, but, like, we're, you know, we send Israel. I think that they have, like, crews, excuse me, they have, um, aircraft carriers all over the Middle East right now, but why aren't there like aircraft carriers on the coast of North Carolina or the Carolinas helping out? Like, I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like we're doing enough. Our, our alleged president, Biden, authorized a thousand troops from Fort Bragg. Of course, it's called Fort Liberty now. Um, why? Because what Bragg was what, racist or something? Yeah, yeah he, you know, right. So, yes, it has a. See, that's such bullshit. This is what place. pisses me off. I had, to go, <laughs> no, I had to go on a rant. When they take down a statue of Robert E. Lee, I'm not saying Robert E. Lee was a good guy, but how do they think that that ends racism? It doesn't. It, eliminating history does not end anything, it doesn't fix anything. It pisses me off. So, Fort Bragg, these guys have worked their whole butts off. You know, they have all these stories, and now right. it's called Camp Li or Fort Liberty. I mean, right, give me Fort a Liberty, damn yeah. break. So, so uh, the, the alleged. Uh, president known as Biden mm -hmm. uh, authorized a thousand troops from Bragg today, Liberty, and um, uh, why wasn't it ten thousand? Yeah, I know. I mean, if you, it, it, this really pisses me off. This is why I say something's not right. Because on Monday I tweeted out, I called for five to ten thousand troops to be uh, 
unleashed to respond, in that area yeah. to respond. I mean, North Carolina has the fourth largest military population of all the states in the country. I think California, Virginia, and maybe Florida have more military bases than North Carolina. And so we have all the resources we need to get in there and quickly rescue people. And there's weird stuff leaking out about that, too. Yeah, only a thousand. And you see, you know what makes me so sad is I saw a video of a, I think it was a military guy saving a dog off a roof. I feel bad for all these damn cats and dogs that get swept up in these houses. These people have to evacuate. They leave their pets. I mean, it's just, I, I just, I guess my, my problem is, is it's the response. I don't know if there's really a conspiracy, if they're manipulating the weather, this and that. I'm just saying that because I like to, you know, speculate stuff. But it's not a conspiracy that we're not doing enough to help the people that are suffering the most. That is the conspiracy right there. Mm -hmm. That is it. Why are we not doing that? Do they want us to it? suffer? I, okay. Well, we're talking about the western Appalachian counties of North Mainly Carolina, white people. East Tennessee, mm -hmm. Northern Georgia, South Carolina. And what are we talking about? About 88% Trump voters. Yep. Except for Asheville and Boone and the you know a couple of the hippie enclaves up there in the mountains, but the rest of it is uh, um, very conservative uh, voters. And so I you know I, I sent out a I sent out a uh, an ex post yesterday where I said that uh, I asked actually if the Democrats would mind if we actually handed out and harvested ballots to all the conservative, you know, uh, displaced That'd be a great idea. Well, that'd be awesome. Right we should in, do that. Eastern Tennessee, Western North Carolina. Is it said, legal in that state? I, I said, well, I said, look, I said, well, they should be, we should be allowed to do that because we don't want to disenfranchise those voters for a climate change event, do we? No, and that's brilliant to use yeah. their narrative. That's kind of what I do, culture jamming. Yeah, so you, yeah. so you talk about blame the climate change. Well, what, I mean, what's the response? Are they allowed to ballot harvest? Because all we should get them to all have absentee ballots. We should yeah. be out there signing them up, filling right, them out right, with them, right, and then right. submitting it. It's like, hey, Governor Cooper, you can sign a special dispensation, uh, you know, an executive order giving all these people the right to uh, have a, you know paper ballot handed to them by a uh, they did uh, it they did it in 2020 I mean I don't know. worker yeah 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 but you know they don't want to help